Welcome back, it's me, Lou. I'm here for another action figure review. Today we are hopping into the time machine and traveling way, way back to the early 90s as we take a look at these Wildcats action figures from Playmate Toys from back in the day. Um, so if you've been watching my videos, over the last few weeks I've been showcasing um, other figures from this toy line. And at this point I figure I would just like... You know, kind of wrap it up and just uh, film a couple more videos just showcasing the other figures that I have from the collection. Uh, and just to warn you in advance, this is not going to be an unboxing review. Um, we're going to look at these figures as they are directly mint on card. So on our left here, we have Zealot. Um, she is the Fierce Karubim Warrior. Um, I think of all the figures in the... Um, Wildcats toy line by Playmates. I think this is my least favorite. Um, not that it's a bad figure, but I don't think it's at the same level as some of the other figures. Um, I always kind of felt that her head sculpt was very... Uh, is this is very plain and generic. It didn't capture the ferocity of the character as she appeared in the comic book. Likewise, the sculpting on the armor didn't look as cool as her actual costume. Like over here, she has these really cool angled shoulder pads. And it just, on the toy, it, the shoulder pads are kind of like rounded off. It, I don't know, there was just something off about this figure. Um, I mean, proportion-wise in the sculpting, it was fair, it was decent. But of all the figures in the first wave, I always kind of felt she was the weakest one. But she did come with a lot of accessories. She came with her pair of swords, a battle axe, and kind of like these boomerang things. Um, the card art's fantastic as always. It's Jim Lee's artwork from the, I believe, the first issue of Wildcats. Here's Zealot right there. Uh, she comes with a trading card, um, and she comes with a, a display base, which you can see underneath her, and it looks like the Wildcats logo. On the back of the box, um, a lot going on. They give you a nice, meaty description of the world, the comic book, and all the characters. Uh, great bio card, much like the old G.I. Joe figures right here. Uh, this came out in 1994. Um, so at the time, uh, uh, at the time there was a new cartoon. So uh, prior to this, uh, Wildcats was published through Image Comics. Uh, under the Homage Studios label, and then later on they went to, they, they went to Wildstorm Productions. They kind of changed their name, and Nelvana, who also produced Eek the Cat cartoon, um, did Wildcats cartoon. And the Wildcats cartoon, if you if you look it up, maybe on YouTube, the theme song was really is really silly. Um, but yeah, it's a cool figure. Here are all the different accessories. Um, she comes with her blades. Um, the throwing blades, the two pair of swords, the halo communicator, um, her battle axe, or the coda cleft blade. Which is, it looks different here, too. Like, over here, the, the blade's completely silver with a little bit, hints of red in the middle of the staff. But the actual toy itself, the staff is completely red with a silver blade. I actually prefer this color scheme better. Likewise, the throwing blades here are a little bit different. The toys are red, whereas these are silver. But the reason why they're red is because they attach to her back. And uh, they're supposed to be... Bl I don't know what's going on here. I think these should have been red, but they're black there. Because these should match this on the costume. Yeah, so this is Zealot. Um, next we have Voodoo. So this uh, came in a later wave and they wanted to make sure that you knew that. So right here they kind of wrote new on the card of the figure. So you knew that this was a new figure. Um, I believe Voodoo and some of the figures from Wave 2 might have been KB Toys exclusives. Because I do remember the first wave, I think you were able to buy the first wave like at general retail, like at Toys R Us. But the later figures, um, I remember, you know, finding this one at KB, and I remember being excited about it because these were characters I really wanted. But you know, this I think by then Toys R Us might have stopped carrying this line, and you know, is this relegated to like KB toy stores? 
Uh, Voodoo is a powerful uh, telesthetic crossbreed. So in the comic book, uh, she was half Karubum, half human, and then before she was a superhero, she was a stripper. And she also had a Game Boy. I remember on one of the covers of the comic book, she was like on a cruise ship or just out tanning, and then she had a Game Boy next to her. So she was also a gamer. <laughs> um, the artwork looks great. Uh, here's her. So this is actually her second costume. If you remember in the comic book, she had a costume prior to this. But that was more of like her stripper wear. Um, but, you know, at some point when she became like, you know, an official member of the team, she actually had like a superhero costume. It's very reminiscent of Jean Grey's costume from, you know, the 90s X-Men, which would make sense because Jim Lee designed that also. Uh, decent figure. And uh, let's see what else is there. So, yeah, this was came much later. So up here is the first wave. Um, uh, Void came later. Voodoo came later. Pike came later. Majestic came later. Uh, Hellspont and Dame Knight were first wave. And then there were some repaints also. Like there was a re-released uh, Warblade. There was a re-released Spartan. And there was another Hellspont. Uh, Maul also was re-released a second time. And this came out prior to the SNES video game. There's a little small ad for it. And Voodoo's weapons. She came with a saber, a shield, and battle plates. And she also came with a display stand. And much like all the other figures, a nice bio card. So yeah, nice pair of figures. Um, I'm very nostalgic for the old 90s Wildcats. You know, there's a part of me really hoping that at some point in time, McFarlane Toys revisits some of the earlier designs. Or, I mean, at least vis revisits the Wildcats. Because they are releasing a Grifter figure. Uh, but Grifter, you know, he's kind of like in the normal DC universe right now. He's appeared in Batman and stuff. Um, but yeah, love, th love these toys. You know, they're quality products from Playmates. You know, Playmates, forever they've been making the TMNT figures. And I remember when these came out, you know, the, this was the same quality as all their other TMNT stuff. You know, Turtle figures always had a lot of accessories. They were well-built, well-painted. Uh, the presentation was always nice with the packaging. And, you know, these Wildcat figures, they kind of continued that tradition. All right, so let's wrap this video up. Once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.